if anything is guaranteed when you're using computers, is that you will make a mistake. We're going to look at one of the ways of trying to recover from a mistake. It's using the undo and redo feature of Microsoft Word. We've got some text on the screen. And I told you in an earlier lesson, um, one of the things that you don't want to do when you are selecting text is click and drag. There's better techniques than that. But if you do click and drag, what can often happen is you don't select quite enough text as you imagine. And you think, oh, I've missed the. Never mind, I'll just click and drag a bit more. And you click and drag, and you end up moving the text. So you can see the is now down here, and the text is in front of it. Rather than panicking and thinking, oh my goodness, maybe we need to delete all that text and start typing again, we can use the undo feature. On your standard toolbar, we have the undo icon. The undo icon will vary depending with the little pop-up that's popped up there, where it says undo move. That will vary depending on the last activity that you did. So it says undo move because the last activity was a move. If I click that icon, it puts the text back how it was. It undoes the last action. And once you've undone an action, you can then redo an action. So a similar icon, but it points in the other direction. So I can redo that action. Undo, redo. Undo and redo. You can also get those icons, not the icons, the commands, from the Edit menu, where we can drop down to Undo Move, and then Edit, Redo Move. Edit, Undo, and just notice, when I bring that up, Undo has also a keyboard shortcut, Control z and Redo has a keyboard shortcut, Control y Try to use your keyboard shortcuts when you can. It helps make them stick in the mind, and it can be a real time saver. That's undo and redo. Now, how many times can you undo an activity? Not an activity, an action. Well, actually, you can click the undo button, and then click it again, and then click it again, and then click it again. It keeps on doing the last action in what is effectively an unlimited number of times. But you don't want to go back step by step. What you can do is use the little drop down arrow to the right of it. You click on there, it lists all the previous actions. And you can do, for example, undo the last five actions. You can see at the bottom of this little pop up, it says undo five actions move down, undo six actions. So you can undo a certain number of actions in that way. And we can actually scroll down and see in this particular document, there's 37 actions I can undo, all the way back to the creation of this particular document. There isn't a defined number of undos that you can do. They seem to be about limitless, but things prevent you from doing it. These do not carry over between opening and closing a document. So if you close a document, that's it. You have lost the undo feature. So just be careful. Don't rely on undo, but know that it's there. And of course, you can undo all those actions. And then you can use the drop down to the right of the redo and redo any number of actions as well. Redo, let's redo 20 actions. And it reformats your document how it was 20 actions ago. So that's undo and redo. It's a real boon for when you make mistakes. Notice I say when, not if.